Well, hi everybody. Kevin back with you. Welcome back to Camp Cronin. We have uh, made some improvements, hopefully. Um, one thing we did is we changed the name of the story to Songs and Stories from Camp Cronin because even though it's live, I'm not like editing it up or overdubbing, it's not a live stream. And I realized people thought they missed episode one because of the time. But uh, the truth is that, um, you know, I'm playing it live, but it's coming later. What can I tell you? I don't have the technical wherewithal to uh, figure out the whole live deal, but um, we're working on it. Um, so from here on up, it's uh, songs and stories from Camp Cronin. This is episode three. Hope you uh, enjoyed uh, my first special guest, Tommy Shaw from Styx. Um, it was really great to see Tommy and uh, we just kind of shot the breeze for a while. Just, uh, you know, a couple of guys, uh, self-quarantined, uh, you know, following the stay-at-home protocols and the social distancing. I am a little bit less than six feet from the screen, but I think I'm safe. Um, so uh, one of the things that has come up since uh, the little conversation with Tommy is that um, we have started a new drinking game around here. And basically we watch uh, episode two and every time Tommy or me mentions the word grocery store, we take a shot of tequila. And it's really a fun game. I suggest it. Uh, it's a great thing to do when you're staying at home. Uh, now, Tommy might not be thrilled about that as he's been a, a sober man for a number of years and I have total respect for that. Um, so we're just, I'm just kidding. Just screwing around here. I also um, realized that I was running out of guitar picks uh, when last we uh, spoke. And so my... Uh, my guitar tech, Polly, was able to send me a new batch of guitar picks. So this is the newest uh, kind of addition to the, um, to the songs and stories set here. I also decided to uh, upgrade uh, guitar-wise. I was using my little uh, kind of Junior Martin, but man, I figured, you know, you guys deserve to hear the real stuff, man. And uh, so this is a early 40s Martin D18 mahogany model, uh, one of my favorite guitars. So just picking up the story, because that's what we're doing here. You know, I'm writing this book, uh, which is uh, called Roll With The Changes, My Life Within and Without REO Speedwagon. As I'm writing the book, I'm realizing that uh, I've already written the soundtrack. I was writing those songs all the way along. So I'm kind of deciding to kind of follow the, the story give you the, you know, a little bit of a, uh, you know, kind of a surface story of some of these songs. The book uh, goes a lot deeper. Uh, but so, met Gary in Chicago. Um, it's a long story how we met, and I, again, I tell it in the book, but um, next thing I knew, I was down in Champaign, and, uh, and I was, uh, I had gone to a rehearsal of the band, and they were awesome. And I still wasn't really in. Uh, it was only Gary who was really kind of behind uh, me being in the band. And I was um, in a little apartment on campus that the guys had set me up with. I had a boom box and a demo tape of some of the songs that REO uh, was working on for the upcoming second album. And the first song of theirs that I learned um, was a song that's not easily played on acoustic guitar. It was a funk rock. I mean, the rhythm section was awesome. You know, Alan, Neil, Gary, Greg, and uh, Terry, Terry Luttrell, uh, recorded that first album, and it was awesome. Um, but the second album was a little more song-oriented. I could tell that Gary was going in a little more song-oriented uh, uh, direction. But some of the songs were, were, uh, were just still rocking and funky. And this is the first song that I ever learned as I'm listening to these demo tapes, realizing that I got to sing these songs in the studio pretty soon. So a um, song called Like You Do. I'll see what I can do on acoustic guitar. Sit down to the table. I seen a women who look to the 
sky, screaming, Lord, I believe in the Bible. I seen the hookers down to Times Square, their heads held up so high, but I never seen a woman who made me feel, ooh, baby, not like you do. Ooh, baby, not like you do. Well, I seen the lovers holding hands with that glassy look in their eyes. Like you do, acoustically, but you get the idea. I think I got a string out of tune here. Uh, something, something sounded a little haywire there. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the culprit. Just takes one string being out of tune and the whole thing goes south. Ooh, there's another one. Two out of six, not good. Oh boy. All right, well. So, um, yeah, like you do, man, that is a song that is so much fun to play live. Back then, it was awesome. Now, with uh, Bruce and Neil, Dave and, and Brian, I miss those guys, man. We get together by Zoom, and uh, we had a great uh, little band powwow the other day. It was so much fun to see the guys. I'm lucky to be in a band with a bunch of funny guys, man, when we get together. It's always a good time. Um, and we're, you know, we're working on figuring out a way to get the whole band involved here. Uh, you know, we're, uh, it's the technical stuff. You know, I'm sitting here with an iPad magnetically attached to a music stand. That's, <laughs> that's what I got going for me here. But I'm having fun. It's good to uh, be playing music. Um, you know, we all got to do what we can to get through this uh, this crazy period in history, and uh, man, I have so much respect for all the frontline workers. Um, man, you guys and women are all so awesome. Um, but all I can do is play some music, hopefully uh, entertain you, tell you a story or two. The second song that I learned of Ario Speedwagons was a song that was um, kind of an originally an anti-war song that Gary wrote. The, um, the band was living in Champaign, Illinois at the time, which is the home of the University of Illinois. And the students had taken to the streets. The, uh, the Kent State shootings had happened, and uh, none of us really were interested in going to Vietnam. We didn't understand why the war had started in the first place, and we didn't want to go over there and risk our lives for a cause that we didn't really agree with or even know what it was. But a funny thing about music, as the years have gone by, 
when I sing this next song now, I think more about the brave young men and women who are stationed all over the world, risking their lives every day for our freedom. So um, my respect to all the service members, especially during these times. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to play you a little acoustic version of Golden Country. and all you know we're not editing this stuff what you see is what you get funny thing man when I was listening to the demo of this song back in Champagne it's 1972 I'm listening I didn't have a lyric sheet so I'm listening to the second line of the song and it sounded me it sounded to me like the lyric was with all of your money your pork and beef fed. I'm thinking, why would Gary write a line like, with all your money, your pork and beef fed? And eventually, I figured it out that it's, with all of your money, your pork can be fed. Makes a heck of a lot more sense that way. But um, yeah, Golden Country, man. That song, when we play it live, people just... Uh, they just kind of connect to it. It's one of those old REO songs, man, from the very beginning. Uh, and um, it's just fun to play live. Uh, I miss playing live, man. I miss the guys. But, uh, you know, we got to be patient. Got to stay home. Um, you know, there will be live concerts again. We're not quite sure when. You know, we're rescheduling our shows. 
uh, pushing them back. If that doesn't work out, we'll push them back again, but I guarantee you that Ario Speedwagon will be back on the road. We just gotta be patient. And uh, in the meantime, I'll be coming to you from Camp Cronin with songs and stories from Camp Cronin. This was episode three. Uh, stay tuned, episode four is coming up uh, in two days on Thursday. Um, in the meantime, stay safe. Um, we love you all, we're in this together. And like I always say, things are gonna get better. Thanks everybody.